I was oh god okay i mean i expect it to be tough to be fair so you know um right let's get out of the way let's switch back over to i think we were doing reasonable with rachel i say reasonable all right yeah that weird fly forward attack is a bit iffy that one is also iffy not really sure how to avoid that yeah right okay that's cool we can just like stand here and soak this up definitely think using the old uh, Michelle and knife tactic seems to be the winner here Having six full hills, I'm hoping this is going to be enough. I mean, if we get him mostly dead, we can, if need be, use the other characters. Okay, getting that combo off does a decent amount of damage. Okay, that move, I'm not sure how we can avoid it. I'm sure we can avoid it, though. Right, back off, back off, because we don't want him to do that weird... Oh, we probably could have got an extra couple of attacks there, actually. Oh, nice. Avoided that. Very happy to avoid that. This is going to be the weird plasma balls. Yep, plasma balls. Plasma balls hurt, apparently. Yeah, also, when I was on the hook, so to speak, <laughs> with this big stinging majig, um, I couldn't heal either. Which was really irritating. I don't know why you wouldn't be allowed to heal yourself. Okay. Come on, you bastard. Come on. There we go. Right. Let's get around his claws. See what I mean with the hitbox? It, it looks like we should be attacking him, but we're not. And there as well. We should be doing damage to him, but we're, we're just not. It's like our knife is going through. And this is bad because we're literally in his body. Can we can we back off, please? Please? Can we move? No? Come on, Michelle. <sighs> Stressful. Stressful. Okay, that's fine. Right, if he can do his spinny winny. There we go. Yeah, do that, dude, because I can sit here and drink coffee. And complain some more. Is he getting closer? I think he's getting closer, but that's fine. Yeah, um, so as for the missing boss, I'm not sure what that's about. Yeah, we should have fought Gasanus again. And he kind of... Oh, really? He kind of looks like Terminator. Oh, come on. What's going on here? Yeah, that's gonna hurt. just just get a little bit of damage in, surely. If we can get him kind of down. Okay, see, I was pushing down and attack to do an attack, obviously, and oh God, it's so hard to get away from him. Um, sometimes she does it, and sometimes she doesn't. I guess it depends if she feels to. If she feels like it. Right, cool. Here we go. <clears throat> I wish I knew some more attacks. Some stuff that actually does damage. I mean, it's okay. We can chip away at him like this. But I'm guessing there probably is a better way of doing this. I'm very surprised at how useless Alex seems to be. Unless I'm straight up missing something. Which I uh, absolutely can be. It's beyond possible yeah it's definitely possible that I oh god he's yeah this um hi hello right cool I guess that's just an attack he does now uh we're very lucky that we managed to out damage him okay we're very lucky we managed to out damage him there. So I guess we don't want to do too much damage to him. We want to do a little bit, chip away his health, and then back off? Question mark. I 
guess we'll see. Though luckily he still doesn't seem to be able to hit us with that, which is cool. Right, go! Oh, honestly. Like, if you even get close to where he is, like, you don't have to hit his hitbox. You just have to be close. Yep. He actually picked us up there. Come on. Really? I think we... Yeah, we survived that because we used the magical healing juice that we had. So, we got very lucky there. Kind of thinking about being a really dirty bastard here and save-stating it. Because that was... That attack is really cheap. We only have two health kits left. Okay. Hopefully we won't need to use that save state. But it does save. I mean, we go back through all the bosses again. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, why does... Why does it hurt you just, like, running in here? Right, now back off, back off. Back off. Oh, he doesn't seem to be doing that. That's interesting. Right, so he changed his tactic. He didn't do that weird jabby move. He seems to kind of pull his tail back. And then he goes into that weird jabby move. Interesting. So there does appear to be some kind of telltale before he does it. I don't mind that. It's just trying to identify it. And there doesn't seem to be any way of like mashing the buttons or any way to actually get out of that attack. You just have to hope that you've had enough health to endure it, I guess. Come on. Right, back off, back off, back off. They're not listening. Although, he doesn't appear to be... Come on. Are we going to get greedy? We're going to get greedy. Done him. <sighs> this can't be. Oh, it can. Glad we didn't have to cheese it with a save state there, but... Yeah, that was a very frustrating final boss. You're really hosed if you haven't got enough health there. You're really hosed. Now, I'm guessing we're going to get the good ending? Question mark? Well, Caesar warning, I guess. Caesar? Yes, Caesar's coming. Seizure warning. Are we getting the good ending? It looks like it. Unless she's going to die now. Our mission is complete. Barat here. Mission complete. Roger, Barat. Good work. Yay. Well, mission isn't complete because we were supposed to save the doctor and you we too, failed. Good work. Now, don't you get cheeky with me, young lady. I'll have you arrested. <laughs> what? Uh, an offy. <laughs> trots after her, I guess. Okay. Well, I guess that's the end of the game. Um, I do have to do that boss fight again, don't I? And purposely leave What's Her Name to Die, Rachel. So we can get the other ending. But that's not too bad. I can cheese the shit out of it just so I can record the end.
Oh, we were fighting on the back of a submarine thing. Because of course we were. I guess that just about wraps things up. What will you do now, Mr. Byford? Hmm. I guess I could really use a holiday. That sounds like a plan. What about you, Alex? What are you guys going to do? Michelle and I? Unfortunately, we've got no time to rest. We've got another mission waiting. So, Rachel doesn't shut down if you defeat all the bosses in quick succession. I guess it's because she goes and gets her power pack back, but she's on the sub. I don't know. Let's not think about it too much. Okay, so that was hard edge or trag, depending on where you are in the world. Um, yeah, good game. Really enjoyed it. I think if I had had that as a kid, I would have really, really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed it now. It was really fun. It's really refreshing. Um, I didn't really like the combat system, the melee combat. It's just... It's not necessarily bad per se, it's just really aged and you know 3D was a new thing, uh, lots of experimentation going on, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I can't really be too hard on the game. The bosses though, the bosses were a, a real mixed bag. Um, they kind of went from okay to utter shit that final boss was kind of anus uh, like the hitbox on him was just you know like all of it really even if you just accidentally grazed its shoulder um, and the problem was it, it's just like when you get hit and you get stunned the stun animations were just very long winded and uh, you could very easily get stun locked and just the animations in uh, in the entirety actually were just too slow, way, way too slow. Um, you know, visually the game holds up pretty well. I mean, it's it's not a bad looking game at all. The static backdrop certainly did the job. The music was fantastic. The story was just enough to keep you going. You know, nothing mind blowing, but it did its job. Uh, the characters were okay for what they were. It was Saturday morning cartoon stuff, and uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. <clears throat> Rachel was definitely uh, the character that I liked the least. Uh, Alex was okay. Rachel was probably my favorite character just because she was a pretty fast melee fighter and she actually moved pretty quickly. Alex's handgun was rubbish, like absolute rubbish. Burns, I liked Burns, um, but he was very, very, very slow. Like it, it, slow to the point where he, he wasn't actually that useful. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, would I consider? Would I say this game is worth playing? If you like kind of beat em ups and you like that Resident Evil vibe and you like a big old motherfucking bowl of cheese, yeah, absolutely. I think it's, it's well deserves a playthrough. Um, do I think there's a lot of replay value in it? Can I see myself ever playing through this game again? No. Uh, although, maybe, because apparently there are some weapons and stuff that you unlock uh, at the end. Which, who knows, maybe I'll, I'll throw up a little bit of a brucey bonus. Let's see what we have here. So if I go to start game, for instance, is it just going to throw us straight in? Let's have a look. I mean, it's going to throw us straight in, but... Ooh! 
We've got a map now. Okay. We now have a map. An actual mini map. Interesting. And I guess we start with some stuff. Arms. Ooh. So we've got Alex's personal second color. What does that do? Just changes our color. Uh, okay. What about Michelle? So we can be Michelle straight off the bat. Same items. No keys. No info. And again, we have her second color. Which... Eh, kind of like a hair color, to be honest, but... Not really sure about anything else. Yeah, apparently we're supposed to have extra weapons and items and stuff this time. But, not really sure. Um, the whole idea of having... Oh, actually... It, does it? It shows you the enemies as well. That's curious. Very curious. Huh. Okay, maybe there is a little bit more to this on a second playthrough. Very interesting. Uh, anyway, guys, I'll uh, go back and get that other ending now, and uh, I will throw this up here. And enjoy. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching. Okay, so we're back here a minute, guys, and let's just continue. I've managed to find some action replay codes and use some cheats to actually get all the weapons and stuff. Uh, apparently, there's not actually that many weapons and stuff. We have infinite health. We have uh, the anti-tank gun for Alex, which killed that boss in seconds. I mean, look at this thing. It's absolutely... It's it's insane. Apparently you can't change your ammo type for it. It just obliterates everything in one shot, pretty much. Um, also, I think that's like the only thing we really have for him. We've got different colors for him as well. But they don't really do anything, unfortunately. So we've got the got the blue which we saw before anyway. So we've got the anti-tank gun. Now these characters don't appear to have any extras. But Michelle Michelle gets uh, some cool colours. You know. But she also, more importantly, gets a uh, laser blade which I haven't actually tried yet. So let's give it a go. Let's try it out on these things. Uh, it doesn't seem to do that much damage. I mean, especially if we compare Alex's anti-tank gun. Which, yeah, it's just like a one-shot KO. Interesting. Alright, well, let's continue. Now, this arena here, this is where we should fight another boss, but he just does not appear. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's only in American and maybe Japanese releases. I'm not really sure. But here we go. Michelle's down and out. What's the matter, Rachel? Or Rachel is. But we've seen that anyway. Too bad, so sad. Okay, let's go end this thing. Let's try it with this fancy new weapon. I guess what we can do here. Drop a save state just because we can. Ow. 
Yeah, so we can't actually hurt him, which is curious. I wonder if we can actually hit him once he's had his uh, fun. Right, let's wait for him to do this. Now can we shoot him if we get behind him? Let's try it, shall we? Ah, uh, maybe not. That's extraordinarily lame. Oh, no, we can. Right, we can. We just have to wait for him to do all of his other silly little things. We need to wait for the shield to disappear. That's interesting. Alright, let's wait for him to do his bloody magic bullshit. Come on, there we go. Wait for him to do his dizzy wizzy. Hit us with that. There we go. Right, now. My god, that does so much damage. Kinda tempted to see how much damage Michelle's weapon does against his tail. But. I don't think it really does much at all. Certainly doesn't seem to do a lot more. Come on. I guess we could try it in a second. Yeah, we'll try Michelle's weapon. Just to see. Just to see if it actually does do anything more. Kind of looks a little bit funny when we've maxed our health out though. Uh, no, not really. Very underwhelming weapon. Right, get up. Let's just switch over to Alex. Yeah, interesting. Oh, okay. He's gonna give us a good old zap of the good stuff. Wow, hits you quite a lot. So I think we have got unlimited health. I thought our health was just maxed out, but it does actually seem to be unlimited. Which is good. It's exactly what we need. When showing off some little bonusy bits. Yeah, mum. Ow. Yes, got him. Right, let's see what happens at the end. Our mission is complete. Reactivating Garland System Satellite. Oh. Target, Togusa Building. Attack will commence in 10 minutes. Oh. <laughs> That's awkward. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The disk was destroyed along with Miguel. No. Who's activated the satellite? There's not much time till the satellite attacks. We've got to get out of here. I guess there's nothing we can do but escape in this sub. Hey! Um. You can't leave me here! Huh? Oh, it's King! Okay, random. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think we really cared about you, to be honest, dude. So the outcome is pretty different. Probably going to cut this video in half, too. Oh, I guess this is going to be exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. gonna nuke the um, 
tower again. And I'm definitely cutting this video in half. As we've been recording for nearly an hour. Yeah, it just annihilates that plane. Ooh. Well, they're smoked. So, it looks like our friend the vault does survive. And that's just the end again. Okay, so we just get, you know, the bad ending just plays the same FMV again, which is interesting. That's kind of odd though. Like, if Rachel dies, then he lives. If Rachel lives through some magic by killing the bosses, that supercharges her or something? I don't know. Uh, or she, like I said, she gets her battery pack back in the sub. Maybe there's a spare. Yeah, there's probably a spare in the submarine. Let's go with that. Um, Volt dies. Uh, sure. Sure. Okay, so the endings... I mean, the bad ending doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, the good ending doesn't make a lot of sense either. Huh. Anyway, <laughs> at least we got to have a look at some of the extra weapons and stuff. Um, yeah, that's the game. Pretty good. Pretty bloody good. Pretty good. Enjoyed it. Uh, would recommend. Mission complete. Yeah, so there's literally, between the good ending and the bad ending, there's about five minutes difference. Hmm. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. I know I really have. Till next time.